Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. When you ask for confirmations, that means you really um, doubt that the deal is on, or at least that what you've been told is what you heard. So um, if you remember the West, uh, Al Capone and its uh, weasel states, uh, vassal states, same, they said that they will support Ukraine, or at least the guys in charge of Ukraine, for as long as it takes. When I first heard that expression, I tried to wrestle with it a little bit and say, what, what, what does that mean? I'll check the dictionary and it says as long as it's necessary, what's, how much is what is necessary. It was kind of like a Western style talk. Uh, not, you know, it's A or B. No, it uh, could be uh, some alphabet shit. What? So the Ukrainians or a guy, the guys, the Ukrainians in charge of Ukraine, I'm not talking about the other guys in charge of Ukraine, um, are not used to this kind of uh, weasel talk, or at least they sense they lose the West's support. And now they want a confirmation. Do you love me? Do you really love me? Uh, you know, this kind of uh, confirmations. Yeah, I love you. Oh, yeah, I love you. All right, things like this. So what's going on right now? We have this guy, Alexei, uh, or Alexei, Alexei, Alexei Danilov. And he really asks a question that I didn't ask regarding the as long as it takes. What does that mean? So let me show you this guy. He's very concerned. That means there's some fire somewhere if this guy's puffs smoke. Russia Today, the 29th of September, 2023. West must tell, must, not has to, must, tell Ukraine how long support will last. He wants, and he's going to give us what uh, the term he's waiting for. Security chief. Now, Kiev's backers been unable to define what their, and I'm quoting, as long as it takes pledges mean, according to Alexei Danilov. And that's exactly. Good job. We agree on something finally, man. I think we agree on uh, many more th things, uh, but that's one of them. The West does not have a clear picture of how the Ukraine conflict will end. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Secretary of the Ukrainian National Security and Defense Cons Council, Alexei Danilov, a person I don't... Anyway, just... Anyway, la lament lamented in a TV interview on Friday. Danilov noted that the US and its allies have repeatedly stated that they will stand with Kiev, and I'm quoting, for as long as it takes, end quote. However, the security chief said that the country's Western backers have never specified that this would be until Ukraine is victorious. And I'm quoting Danilov, my honor. No one can clearly answer us what our victory means. Thank you, Danilov. Good job. They tell us we will support you until blah, blah, blah. And then I have never heard them say the word Victory, victory, ha, ha, ha. Anyway, men or our song. They, they say, until you choose to make decisions yourself. What? Um, so, again, A, B, no, it's uh, alphabet. Pick your uh, uh, letters. Danilov stressed that Kiev needs to know whether the West will stand by Ukraine until it wins the conflict or it if its support will expire after a certain amount of time. I think their ass is on fire. I think they uh, receive uh, signals that uh, the West is crumbling. I mean, Al Capone tried to keep them all uh, in line. You owe me, you owe me, or maybe a Tommy gun. Uh, you owe me. Uh, anyway, previously, Oh, the security chief co commented after Ukrainian finance minister Sergei Marchenko admitted that the number of those willing to give Kiev money, and I'm quoting, is growing, is growing smaller and smaller, is getting smaller and smaller, is growing smaller and smaller, and that, I don't know the number, 
And then there are many questions about how much taxpayers in those countries are willing to finance us. Um, we're not willing. Uh, they tell us they do it for us without asking. Okay, uh, Marchenko. That's how it goes. Previously, Marchenko reported that the government's monthly deficit is about $5 billion. Still is, but someone... All right, someone puts their hand in our pocket, gets the money or not even the money, the money that we don't have <laughs> and sends them with the budget receiving two thirds of its funds from foreign loans and grants. Two thirds. Meanwhile, White House National Security Council spokesman, he's not a spokesman, he's a spokesperson, John Kirby, that wizard. Yeah, shut the claimed this week that the Pentagon could only support Kiev for a few weeks. What? The Pentagon could only support Kiev for a few weeks if Congress failed to pass a new funding bill. Blah, 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 blah. They will not fail to pass a funding bill. Supposedly, they, they agreed to fund the Defense Ministry with $826 billion or something like that. Not $840, $820 some. All right, and they said that uh, that's a little provision over there for about uh, 200 million, and then uh, that's it, man. There's not going to be any more. I don't think so. I don't. Uh, if the government freezes, closes, which will not, and if it does, it's going to last just a little bit. Why? Because they're all on the same, not all, a great, fantastic majority on the same page. And that is the military industrial complex and so military industrial complex. All right. This comment came after the Republican lawmakers opposed President Joe Biden's request for an additional $24 billion for Ukraine. But uh, I covered Josh Hawley, a uh, Republican, not that it matters, but you can identify him, a senator. And he said that the $24 billion is not all, it's just the beginning. He said, much more. He said hundreds of billions. He had, I covered, I covered that in a previous video. I think it was not yesterday, the day before, I think. And uh, he said, I'm astonished of how much these guys asked. And it, there's no ending in, in, in sight. He said, we've never been told when, when is the end. There's, some people make a lot of money. So what do you want? So, uh, and I'm quoting, if leadership insists on funding another country's government at the expense of our own gover government, all blame rests with their intransigence, said Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, another one that has said the same thing, one of the Republican leaders opposing the bill. N nonetheless, the U.S. House of Representatives, the lower chamber of the U.S. Congress, managed to approve 300 million, that's the one I was talking to one and something, in new aid like a band-aid, yeah, okay, to Ukraine on Thursday, despite over half of GOP members opposing the move. Earlier this month, month, Zelensky told The Economist that he was sensing weakening support from Western leaders. He warned that failing to support Ukraine was equivalent to siding with Russia. Shut your pie hole. The Ukrainian leader cautioned Western governments that they could lose elections and face trouble from outraged Ukrainian refugees. I'm going to tell you about the refugees that they have housed if they do not maintain their assistance to Kiev. Blackmail. Blah, 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 we're going to do this. You have no power, man. And about the refugees, the Ukrainian government said that those Ukrainians who moved out due, due to the war are not refugees. That's why they said, they said, that's why they said, they said they should not be incorporated in the, in the nations where they are right now. They should not be assimilated. No programs of assimilation. Why? Because we need them back to pay taxes and work and maybe send them to do some other stuff. It's a, an article I read, uh, I think, yesterday. I'm about to make a, a, a movie on that, a video on that. So here you have it. If you don't help me, I'm just going to side with the Russians, okay? I think that's the blackmail right here with Ukraine. If the Western do doesn't uh, give me what supposedly they need to give me to defend them from uh, Russia, then I'm going to probably make a little peace with Russia and I'm going to be in between a weasel. That's an upper, uh, a chance or an option that I was talking about, a scenario. If the Ukrainians, I think that's how they, they blackmail these guys. Unless these guys say, yeah, plug off, 
all right you go uh, you go over there now you do whatever you continue what what we talked about you know understand what i said right yeah that's exactly what i think but i don't think the Zelen the, the zelensky wants that because the, the zelensky got the money got the honey and he's gonna move to uh london israel or united states of america whenever these guys say click you're out click you're in you go you come uh, come in sorry not come <laughs> anyway my friends here it is um yeah they must tell them for how long they let it an open-ended uh, uh, statement or question if you want uh, we're gonna help you for how long uh, it takes it's necessary necessary but according to our interest yeah exactly um, that's the way it is my friends and uh, if this guy uh, Danny Love asks that question that means he not only senses he knows the end is in sight thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just just kidding <laughs>